If you're looking for a great platform to share your digital downloads without actually giving them away or letting people get a sneak peek maybe, maybe at the workbooks or the downloads or the checklists or sheets that you're giving away in a particular course without, without actually giving it to them, then Issue is a great platform for doing that. It's also a great place to just publish a magazine every month to different readers. Now, if you've never used Issue, I'm going to show you today exactly how you can do that and what it can do for you. Hi, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous Designs and I help online business owners create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in or if that sounds like it is, it fits you, then make sure to hit the subscribe button below because I post new videos and tutorials every Monday and Thursday. Now today we are going to be talking about Issue and if you've never heard of them, I actually stumbled upon them on accident when I was a fitness coach in a totally different life, but I produced fitness magazines and I wanted to share them with people and I wanted to share my fitness planners with people as well. So if you've never heard of Issue, it actually has an app that you can download, so I'll share my screen. Um, Issue has a few different plans for you as a publisher. Now you're going to be using Issue as a publisher, not a subscriber. And if you are, so first of all, if you download the app, it's free. So don't worry about that. Everyone, it's free. You should check it out, look around. Um, I'm not sure how they get away with it or if magazines make them available. Uh, but you know, Money Magazine, Oprah Magazine, Fitness, pretty much every premium magazine that's out there, I've been able to find an issue. Not going to talk about the legalities of that today, uh, but you as a publisher have four different plans you can choose from. Now, the first one, I would just start out with the basic, that's free. The only thing to keep in mind is if you're going to do the basic, you have no protection of your documents. So. For example, my fitness magazine was just free. I didn't care who read it as long as people read it, right? I was trying to get people as fitness coaching clients. And because I was doing that, I wanted it to be as free and uploaded as many places as I possibly could. I wasn't really too worried about list building at this point. I was just worried about um, awareness, right? Just so that people would know who I was. So that is a great plan if that's all you care about. Now, if you want to protect your documents, then you might want to go with the starter plan um, or the premium plan if you'd like to sell your publication. So let's say you, I know a lot of people are using Gumroad and other things like that. I actually don't like Gumroad. Um, I would rather sell my stuff on issue. It's just a nicer layout. It had a better, um, I don't want to say ROI. It just had a, it was just easier to use. Um, and Optimum obviously is only if you are like producing a ton of things and you have a huge team because $269 per month is kind of steep. Now, inside of my issue, we'll go in here. This is my old account. Um, and it was a base, I think I downgraded to the basic. And it used to be a premium and it will tell you exactly how many people have read it and how many people, how many impressions it's had, right? So not everyone's going to read through the whole document, um, but some people will just kind of glance and see your magazine, whether they were searching for it or it came up in a suggested search. So once you start using this application, you'll see it looks a little bit like, um, like Pinterest. Uh, you'll just see a ton of different magazines that will show up. So this is mine and you can see even on the free version, I can still embed this. Um, I can go through and I, this is the whole magazine. So it does that nice. I'm sure you've seen other people when you go to their website, you can kind of click through the different pages right? So it also gives you the opportunity to provide links to your documents to others. Um, it gives you some statistics like above, like we saw right up here. And it also gives you the opportunity to share your document on social by creating a GIF for you. Uh, so I actually really like this. I don't know why a lot of people just aren't using this, which is crazy to me. Now, the other cool thing is that you can print these, right? It's a magazine publication, even though it's digital, you can print these uh, yourself. So here is an older, it's not even on there anymore, um, fitness planner that I made and I had it printed. Uh, so it's actually, it's pretty nice. If you like that 
um, what is it called, like that magazine quality paper, and I'm not even sure what the weight is, but it has that nice glossy feel to it, just like you would see in a magazine. And these pages are actually, I would say, thicker uh, than a regular page, and the back and the front cover are much thicker than you would get in a regular magazine that you see on this newsstand. And you can see the colors are pretty vibrant. I have another page with more colors on it. Um, so here's another page with things to read. Whoops. <laughs> and uh, the colors are really beautiful, and it came out nice and clean and crisp, and I think it just looks amazing. Now, the important thing, and I'll show you a huge mistake that I made, was knowing your left page from your right page. <laughs> So you can see where I have made a huge faux pas in that November starts over here and October is ending over here. So really important to make sure that you get proofs of these um, before you send them out. The other thing it didn't do though is um, tabs. So obviously it's a magazine. Uh, this was really meant to be a planner and a spiral binding. So the tabs pages showed up just a little odd. I really should have changed those before I sent that in. but. That is pretty much it. You can also, if you had lines for people to write, uh, it actually writes very well. Um, but just like you would think with magazine pages, if they write with a marker or something that's a little more liquidy, it does tend to run um, if their hand grazes over it. So that was it. It was pretty affordable. Just like anywhere else, you're going to save so much money if you're able to order this in bulk versus ordering one-offs. Now, as far as I know, this could have changed, but no one can order a um, a physical copy of your book, but you, the publisher, I don't believe they can offer it on there. But again, I did not upgrade to, in fact, they didn't even have four tier prices. They just had a basic and a premium before. Uh, so before I was not able to uh, allow other people to purchase um, just one offs like this, because you know, somebody really wants these two pages together. But anyways, I think Issue is a great platform that you could look into. You know, you can protect your pages so no one can download them. You know, if the information is so, so special that, you know, getting this information, even glancing at it is, you know, forbidden for people, you could always put sort of a watermark on top of it. You could um, maybe take a few pages out and just leave some excerpts. You know, people want to see what they're buying and what they're getting before they actually purchase it to make sure it's worth it, right? Because especially with digital downloads, a lot, you know, a lot of us online businesses will say they're are no returns because of the nature of this digital download. And, you know, maybe we don't want, I, I'm hoping none of us really want unhappy customers, right? We don't sell things because we want to trick people into buying them and saying, haha, now you're stuck with it because it's digital. I know I always want people to be happy. I don't want them to purchase anything that they didn't want. So if I can, I give them the full, uh, the full digital file as a preview, mind you, not something they can download, just as a free preview. And then when they purchase it, they don't have any buyer's remorse or they don't say, this isn't really what I thought it would be. Um, and that has happened to me before on Etsy with sell selling some digital downloads because I may have something that's 50 or 100 pages and someone will say, oh, I really like the beginning, the preview pages, but I didn't like everything else. So something to think about. Remember, so today we talked about Issue. It is an application and it is for you as a user just to read magazines and discover new people. It's a great way to connect with other people also in your industry. I know not a lot of people are talking about this. Uh, it's a great networking place. I've met a lot of people who also produce planners and are graphic designers. And I also hooked up with a lot of different fitness coaches that I was able to collaborate with. Uh, the third thing is make sure you try out the free version just to see if you like it, uh, upload some trials, and then remember the premium is pretty pricey, but you can get money instead of using Gumroad or digital, easy digital downloads or something else, you could use Issue to sell it. And I think it's even better because again, you can give people a preview so they know exactly what they're getting uh, before they purchase it. So that is my top recommendation for previewing documents and or selling them as well. And of course, for printing them, if you want a magazine style printing um, and make sure that you understand what you're doing so that you don't end up with insides and guts that look like this. All right. I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next week. Bye.